teachable tutorial for beginners step by step hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with teachable so what is teachable and how can you get started well teachable is a platform which allows you to share your knowledge as an entrepreneur educator or creator or if you're someone that is educated in a specialized field you can easily spread that information using teachable on your own terms so it allows you to earn with different methods including online courses digital downloads coaching memberships and community building they have a straightforward pricing system and it helps you with building your own space and integrating ai to help you in building your teaching space now let's get started to get started, click on start for free. And once you click on start for free, you're going to type in your full name and then your email address. Once you've typed in your email address, you're going to create a suitable password for your account, agree to their terms of service, and then click on create account. Now, once you click on create account over here, you are going to be led to the next page, which is going to be your creator checkout. So you have two options. You can go with annual billing or you can go with monthly billing. And keep in mind that you get a seven day free trial. And afterwards, depending on which plan you are selecting, you're going to be paying accordingly. So I'm just going to complete my sign up over here. So now that we have completed all of our information, Teachable is now preparing our trial. And just like that, our onboarding is going to begin. So first off, you have to answer a couple of questions about yourself. So if you already run an online business, let's say I'm just exploring, and then you can add your organization to how big your organization is, and you primarily identify as a project-based consultant. And I am just going to share my knowledge here. My current audience is one to a thousand people. I expect one to 5,000 in annual revenue. And I have a little bit content prepared and I'm going to be doing flexible and committed coursework. Now, after that, you can proceed with building your first product. However, if you want to just explore Teachable first, you can just click on I'm not sure yet and then click on continue on the bottom. Now, once you do that, this is what your Teachable dashboard is going to look like. On the left, you have a menu bar. In this, you can explore your home tab. Then you have a users tab where you can monitor all the users that you have within your products. Then you have leads, owners, authors, affiliates, custom, and tags. Then below that you have your teachable site or this is called your teachable home or school. Then you also have your sales section, which allows you to monitor all transactions. And we're going to go back into our home tab. And before we proceed with a lot of our other things, we are going to verify our email. This is a really important step because if you don't do that, it's going to just make it a bit difficult for you to launch your courses. So just go into your mailbox and then click on that link. Once you do that, your account will be confirmed. Now, this is the school that has been created. And this is our basic trial. If I click on it again, this will show me my complete teachable school and I'm just going to authorize access. Now I'm going to click on view your school. This is what it's going to look like. Currently it's pretty much blank and this is what it's going to look like as a student. Then if I view it as public, it's going to pretty much look the same. Now it's time to get started with adding actual content into our teachable account. So first off, we can click on settings over here and start editing some of the basics. This includes your school's name. Let's say this is going to be my makeup or this is going to be Liz Makeup Academy. Let's say that's what my school name is going to be. And then my email sender is going to be Liz. Then my business name is going to be Liz Makeup Academy. Then we have our mailing address and our reply to email. We have our school status and other settings. Now, once we've done that, we can proceed with building our first product. So this could be either courses, coaching, digital downloads. Now, what's the difference between courses, coaching, and digital downloads? Well, courses are a structured pre-built format of different types of guides including video guides and you just upload it all together people go through the course and they learn coaching is scheduled and it's going to have a lot more participation actively 
Digital downloads are just digital products that people can download, which could be free or could be paid. So first off, we're going to go into courses and then click on create course to get started. Once we do that, we're going to give our course a title. Let's say this is going to be how to nail the perfect makeup base. And I'm going to describe my course. So establish the skills needed and the recommended products to get the perfect skin-like finish for your makeup base. Whatever description you have, you can even use AI tools to further amplify it. Then you have your thumbnail image. If you don't have one, you can skip it. But if you do, all you have to do is click on upload. You can upload from Google Drive, Dropbox, or even your own device. And I'm going to be uploading an image from my device. I'm just going to go on ahead and upload this image. And then once I've completed my upload, I can move towards our next step. And once I do that, I can choose different ways that I want to structure my course. So different, different types of pricing. You can either make your course a one-time purchase. So a person can just a pay up and then they have the course to themselves. Then you can set a payment plan. So a payment plan could be the course is going to be unlocked in three months and then people have to pay like a monthly fee. Then you have subscriptions where you can set up recurring payments, which means that until the subscription is canceled, people will be charged. Then you have free courses and you can skip this if you want. I want this to be a one-time purchase and I'm going to click on continue. You can add the amount. Let's say this is going to be $100 and then we can add the pricing plan name or let's say we're going to make it $50. And then we can also add descriptions and much more. We can also limit enrollment by a cap on the number of students we have or an expiration date and time. This allows you to make your courses more exclusive and have new courses show up and have people be interested in your courses. You can also limit product access duration. So if you want your students to have access, you can leave this option on. If you want your students to have access forever, you can leave this option off. But if you want the access to the subscription or to your course content to expire at a certain point, let's say I want everyone to either go through this in 200 days or their, you know, or their content will expire. And that is plenty of time, but it really depends on your personal preference. I'm not going to limit these and I'm just going to proceed and click on continue. This is going to be my standard pricing and I'm going to click on continue. Then you're going to generate your course outline. Now you can do this from scratch. You can also bulk upload your content or you can generate your AI. And I'm going to be using the AI generated course outline. So you guys can also see some of the amazing tools that Teachable is providing for you. So right now, this is the curriculum it has built. So introduction and prepping your skin, choosing the right foundation, setting your base, troubleshooting, common mistakes, recommended products. And I'm going to click on edit curriculum over here. Once we do that, you will see different sections. So you can section out your course and then you can build lessons within that. You can click on new lesson over here and start adding your new lesson. Let's say this is going to be called importance or this is going to be bridal versus non or this is going to be photo ready versus non photo makeup. And then I'm going to click on save. Then I can click on this lesson over here. Then on the right, I can choose the type of content I want to add. This could include text, images, videos, PDFs, audio, images, resources, code, embedded media, and you can even use open-ended as well as quizzes. So this can help you in gathering an estimate of how much your students are actually learning from your course. You can even use referrals and marketing upsells, and you can even add custom code or link Zoom meetings. Simply drag and drop your content. You're going to click on add content, choose your content and upload. Once done, you can click on preview to preview what your lesson is going to look like. Now, if I go back into my curriculum, I can just click on each one of these uh, curriculum sections and add my content. And once that is done, all I have to do is publish my course. So once I've done this, I can preview the entire course. This is what it's going to look like. And I think it looks fine. I can click on start lesson. I can start going through the lessons and marking everything complete and continue. 
like this and I think it looks nice so we can even play around with the design templates we can go into certificates and build a certificate as well as edit some of the course settings once completed all we have to do is go back into our courses section and this is currently unpublished and we can click on publish course to have our course be published on our teachable school so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Teachable. The best part is, is that you can get started for only $39 a month with a 5% transactional fee. And if you go for their pro plan at $119, you have zero transactional fees and you can publish upwards of 50 courses, coachings, communities, and more. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.